How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. Today's video, we are gonna be flying a drone above this building ruin. This used to be a motel that burnt down uh, about three weeks ago. And I had a YouTube short where I made a map and I flew it above, a, I think it was a park, and I made an ortho mosaic map. And a couple of you were interested in me making a long form video of that. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. Don't mind the literal ripped apart car right there. Um, that's, that's just here, I guess. This is a hot spot for nefarious activities, I, I guess you could say. Um, but like I said, the Google imagery is not up to date with this. So I'm gonna throw the drone up, get an up to date image of this location. And I'm gonna walk you through on how to set that up uh, using this software called DroneLink. Uh, I, per I, I purchased this uh, software drone link for, like, I think it was like 99 bucks. That's a lifetime thing. There's other things out there like uh, drone deploy, maps made easy. Uh, and I think there's a few others I can't think of off the top of my head, but I'm gonna be using drone link on the iPad, set up the mission plan, throw my DJI Mini 2 up, take some photos and then process it back home because I am not trying to be here longer than I need to be. There's probably people in the fucking tree up there for all I know. Okay, so we are going to create a new mission. Uh, so I loaded everything up. I'm going to hit create. It's going to load up my location. So we will do map. And then it should have our GPS location any moment now. But this is where we are at the roadway in. So select takeoff location for the new plan. So we will hold right here, okay. And new map plan, we will name it roadway. Roadway. Takeoff restrictions, there are none, oops. Uh, max speed, 10 miles an hour, all that fun stuff. Cool. Hit done there. And our takeoff location will be right over here. Why? Oh, unlock. Got to hit that right there. There we go. So I am going to do this. over here and over here just like so all right altitude well looking at the building right there we probably don't need to go much higher than uh you know maybe we'll do 75 feet i think that's more than plenty 75 feet altitude do 10 miles an hour all right, hit done. Okay. And then the starting location will be in that corner right there, 75 feet. And then we will extend that out just a hair. Okay. And then that tree right there is that guy right there. So we don't need to worry about any of that. Extend this out just a bit. Cool. And then have all that right there. Good to go. All right. And then we can change the direction that the drone actually flies. We can have it fly in that pattern right there. And if we were to click on generating preview, and we can go down here and say we can, it'll take about four minutes to make this map. Very easy to do. So about a hundred photos, max speed six, 6.8 miles an hour, altitude a hundred feet. Cool. So roadway, we'll edit plan again. So I, I think I want to do a grid pattern actually. Let's 
see if I can make it do that instead. So the map, advanced, okay, this is where we go. So altitude, photo capture, drone heading, pattern, normal. We'll do a grid pattern just like that. So it's going to go back and forth, side to side, all that stuff right there. And then the overlap. Oops. Do 80% overlap. Hit done. All right, so that is a pretty solid uh, estimation right there. Total time, about 15 minutes, 300 photos. All right, let's go ahead and link this up to the, the controller and take off. All right, so I got the drone, turn that on. Hit the play button up here. And there she goes. So it's gonna fly this mission all by itself. So there it is right there. Flying 75 feet above this abandoned building right there. And it's gonna get some amazing shots. Real detailed too. So it's I mean it's just just barely above the building. So now that we have the photos taken, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import those photos into a software called WebODM. The few things that we'll need to do because it's not as simple as just downloading open drone map. You can do that. Uh, if you wanna purchase their installer, I think it's like 60 something dollars. Uh, I tried doing that and I didn't have any success. It wasn't processing credit cards or anything like that. So we're gonna do the manual install and I'll walk you through how to do that on Windows. So we'll go to their GitHub page right here, and we'll go ahead and read the documentation. There's a few things that we will need before we go forward. So the first thing is, well, we'll need to have Docker. So Docker Desktop, go ahead and download that. So it will have included with that Docker Desktop as well as Docker Compose. Uh, the second thing we'll need is Git. So Git for Windows, um, you could probably get around using uh, just PowerShell, uh, but for me, the straightforward method was just using Git for Windows. And that is pretty much it. And then there is some other things you could do in here as far as like getting GPU acceleration using, I think it's CUDA, I think that's what they use. So anyways, I'm gonna walk you through just like a basic install on Windows because it was kind of, kind of difficult if you, didn't have like a video to follow along. So like it says right here, you'll need Git, Docker, Docker Compose, Python, and pip. So first thing we'll need to do is we will need to uh, download these three things like up here. So Docker, Git, all of that. So the once you do all of that, the prerequisites of that, the next thing you'd wanna do is to follow the instructions right here. So Git clone, open drone map, all of that. So you'll open up git, git bash, and then you'll go to the directory that you wanna do all of this in. So if you wanna like go to your desktop, go ahead and CD into that. This will install the GitHub repo uh, that is all right here. So all of the code that is all up here, it will download all of that for you. So once you have that, the second thing it has is CD into web ODM, which is gonna be the just all of the code. So you just downloaded all the code and then it just says web ODM start. Now you might run into an issue because it doesn't say you have to have Docker running already. So you wanna make sure you have Docker desktop running. So have it the, the engine running and all of that. Once it's up and going, then you can run web ODM start and it will pull up this right 
here. So you'll have a basic dashboard and it will say uh, first project. So this one right here, this is the, what the default says. First project, go ahead, click select images. And these are all of the like 300 or so photos we took yesterday. And we're just gonna control A and open. And it's gonna process those for you. Um, so I, I've already done that. So we'll go ahead and view what this looks like on a map. Just like that, there is that ortho mosaic that I uh, that we well, took yesterday. Obviously we can improve on it a, a tiny bit. Uh, the one thing that I would probably do to make the quality just a tad bit better is to have the drone fly a little fast or a little slower, sorry, a little bit slower because you can see that it is blurry, you know? compared to what you would see on Google Earth. So if I was to remove that, you know, it's obviously miles better, like significantly better as far as quality goes. Oops. But it's still kind of like, you know, it could be better. And all of this blurriness is because the drone was either A, the setting wasn't, you know, in a... I didn't have the highest quality image settings on the drone or, you know, I don't even know what it is. What what could make the photos just a tad bit better? Um, and right here, it shows you where all of the different photos were taken. So you can see it's quite a bit of photos that were taken. So, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Like, there is really not much else to it. And then we have a 3D an attempted 3D rendering of it, but we didn't do any sort of uh, like 3D modeling. And I'll probably do that um, on DroneLink because you can do that on DroneLink where you could do canvassing, uh, or not canvassing, I forget what it was called. Uh, <laughs> not canvassing, you could do a facade. So you can actually fly the drone vertically like this as well as what we did right there. But this is actually something I just found out right now. This is awesome. Um, so anyways, that is it for this video. If y'all enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you get notified anytime I post a new video. Uh, I will be trying out the facade aspect uh, with drone link. I think that would be awesome uh, to get like a full 3D rendering of this building. Uh, maybe not this building because, you know, we had some, some characters roll up and I, you know, I, I, I don't think I want to deal with that again. So yeah. So stay tuned for that. I I'm enjoying this drone content that I'm making. So yeah. Anyways, that is it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye. So cool.